Hey, if you're thinking about getting into podcasting or if you're thinking about some really good portable equipment, look no further. Today's review is going to be on the Mayono Caster Lite Professional Audio Innovation from Mayono. It's going to be a brand new review. Stick around. Yep. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications so you'll know when we go live with these and any other reviews. So in the box, right as you open it up, you'll have your user's manual. Very informative, telling you about the microphone, the microphone itself, and the portable podcast console. I really like the way this company does that. I've seen this where if you're happy, make sure here's the information. If not, if you have problems, make sure you contact them. And their information is right on the comment card. But yeah, the AM200 portable podcast console also does include the AU PM360 TR condenser microphone set. A little letter that they gave you here, welcome you to their product, telling you all about the functionality of the device. It is really awesome. I mean, you really need to check this out. If you're going to do podcasting, if you want to ask, hey, what are you using? I started researching what some maybe the pros are using, and I found this Mayono caster equipment. I bought a Mayono product headphones. I bought one of their microphones with the scissor arms. We're all going to do a review on that, but then I read about this. It's literally a portable sound card. So for any of you that are techie, knowledgeable of it you'll understand it's got everything that you're going to need right in the box so I'm going to speed it up a little bit here you don't need to see the whole thing in its entirety just tells you how to set it up if you're going to use it like a little DJ stand uh, if you're going to do it maybe karaoke via mobile phone or maybe you want to set it up to actually live stream with your mobile phone you can do that and you can stream up to three additional devices yep quick and easy setup Pack your patience. Remember, it's a new device, but if you have any questions, they are very helpful in their support. But I'll assure you, everything you need is in this box. If it'll take a few minutes just to study it, maybe watch the video to the end, you may learn something. Because I'll actually set it up and let you hear a live demo. In fact, I'll tell you what. Here's the computer set up. Tell you all about that. Tell you how to set it up to charge. And why don't we go live now so you can actually hear how it works. Yeah, okay, so we're live now, and so I hope you guys can hear real well. This is the actual audio recording, and as we have it all set up here, I've got mine actually set up. I used a little loom there, uh, as you can probably see in the background, and um, it really, this thing is amazing. So I have to tell you, I really love it. If you are one of those kind of people that are uh, doing a little remote or you'd like to do portable remotes, this thing works perfectly. The battery lasts amazingly long. I can't tell you how long because it's not died out. I'm giving you an honest review. If somebody wants to leave a comment, let me know the actual time. But anyway, so several, several buttons on here. So easy, no, no, no brainer here. You have your microphone so that you can turn it up. You know, testing, hello, testing, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I turn my volume up, hello, test, test, test. And of course you can make all sorts of different effects. You've got, of course, your main effect. I'm going to turn this down so it doesn't blast y'all. Uh, but your ah. pop mode. So, of course, when you talk through it, uh, you know, your voice will change. Hello, pop, pop. Hello, hello. MC. MC. You can hear now. I can add a little echo effect or I can take and change the bass or the treble. Now, listen. Hey, now I'm in a, I'm in an echo chamber. Hello. <laughs> but, yeah, you can do all sorts of neat effects. Original. Now that's just the original voice. Uh, you can do the female. Female. Now I have an actual female voice. Well, closer, closer to, to my, my microphone. microphone. There, there you go. go. Now I you guys can hear what I'm talking about, about right? right? Hey. All right. All right. And if you don't want the lady's voice, and you would prefer something a little bit more masculine, male. Now you have the male voice. Turn that up a little bit so you can hear. Now that's the male voice. And again, you can change the bass. So now I'll put more bass in, take the bass out, add a little bit of mid range, add a little bit of trill, or just leave it alone. Then we have. Baby. Uh, uh, now we have the baby. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a baby. Yeah. yeah. So, so there you go, you can use that. And don't forget to throw in the. Uh, 
So uh, hopefully you guys can still hear me now. I'm not deaf, but yeah. So it works really well now. We're back with no microphone. Turn that down. So you got a range of buttons, including right here. You can actually change your a voice. Major. Um, if you were a singer, I can see where this would actually come in. I hope it's not too loud. But um, hello. It actually does kind of like a um, oh. You'll have to hear it for yourself. You can change B the flat major. A B flat major B. Major. B C, C it's kind of like an auto tune. Hello. And if you sing, you'll understand it. You have to really play with the controls right here. I'm not using it for the purposes of singing D anyway. Flat major. But let's take that back out. Um, if you would like, and so I don't get dinged on YouTube, um, you can play accompaniment. In this case, I have my cell phone playing in the company in the background here. Hey. Thanks for stopping by our channel. We are the monitor where we review have our clients, products, and services that we receive. So you could do a really cool intro. You could start off with something like. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Here's a really neat intro. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Right? You guys can see that. And then break into your announcement. And then, you know. Hey, you can come right in with your music or whatever it was that you were playing in the background. So I mean, you can pull off some really, really neat effects. Try to be really honest on our products and music. As you can see here, see. Um, you know, you guys like that out there, show Hey, thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys really like it. Man. Oh, all right, because the reality that if not would have been very awkward. Just for being a part of our channel. That's what I thought. And then I definitely don't want to hear nobody out there. Oh no no no. Because if not, then maybe you hear a little of that. Hey. Yeah, and then of course, when you go on here, guys and gals, so you'll know what these buttons do. The pitch actually changed, we already talked about. If you take that off, you can actually push the button and turn it off. Pro. Or you just press the effect button and take you back. Um, so really, there's not much more to tell you, but I will tell you, and other reviewers have commented, I agree. Seems like you don't want this maxed all the way out, but when you do any kind of audio accompaniment or background, you want to definitely have this almost maxed. I would never max out any of these unless the environment would dictate to do so, but yeah, I really like it. Um, down here at the very bottom, you do have the loopback, so you can actually hit the loopback loop feature, back on. and then you can record your own loopback in here. I'm not going to do it right now because for the purposes of not insulting uh, Leono, when I tried it the first time with my mic, I didn't like it. And when I did it the second time, I didn't like the way it sounded, so I wasn't going to record it and do it with you guys live. It just doesn't sound right. If you're in a studio or if you're actually recording with a good mic like I'm using, um, you can get some really good sound out of that and record back. So you could do like your opening as we did and then switch it into one of your loopbacks. Really easy to do. Press loopback and then you just simply press and hold the button down uh, and it will start flashing. Hold it down while you're recording and then let off. And now when you go back and press that button, it will be in the loop back. Loop back um, the music only will, it will work. As other reviewers have said, they didn't find the logic in it, but you have to have a track that's got a lot of audio, more for a concert, if you will. If you're playing any kind of audio, and you can really hear the, the singer separated from the, I should say the vocals, if you will, um, you can definitely use the music only music feature. Only. Um, and then you'll hear just the music versus music the audio. Only off. The noise, noise I don't on. really like the cancellation feature noise on here. If you press off. it, you'll understand. If you have a lot of back, you know, yeah, you could use it. If you have background noise, you try to eliminate a little bit. But I would do that, as most uh, reviewers will say also in the comments, uh, maybe during editing. So that's pretty much it. For the money, it's a really great buy, really easy to set up. It is battery operated, so you have a power button right in the very back. I'll go over and get all that on the other portion of the video. But power button, you actually have a light button, so you can actually change the lights or turn them all the way off. I, I like them all myself. Of course, you guys do what you do on there, but 
yeah, so it's all set up ready to go. I've just actually got the extra connection set up in case I'm ready to go with three extra podcasts. So you have your accompaniment, like if you have a, a whole lead in for music, like I was doing on the cell phone here. You have your two microphone setups. You actually have uh, audio out for monitor, which I have set up. Really impressive. So two thumbs up. Highly impressed by this design. Yeah, so you heard it here. You heard it from We Review You Live. Hey, thanks so much for watching and supporting our channel. And we'll see you again on the next one. Take care.